long division hints know your timetables and know your order of calculation what is order of calculation order of calculation is just the steps that you're going to follow to complete your sum so you first going to divide then you're going to multiply then you're going to minus and then you're going to bring down you're going to repeat the process until all the numbers under the shelter has been brought down. Let's look at a few examples. Example 1. In this example, remember you have to know your timetable. We have to know our three timetables and our order of calculation. We have to find out how many times 3 goes into the number 756. So let's start. We're going to say 3 goes into 7. How many times? 2 times. And we're going to multiply. 2 times 3 equals to 6. 7 minus 6 equals to 1. Then we start our process again to divide. How many times does 3 go into 1? 3 can't go into 1 because 1 is smaller than 3. Then we have a look under our shelter to see if there are any more numbers that we can bring down. We can bring down our number 5. So now we have 15. 15 is bigger than 3. We say how many times can 3 go into 15? 3 can go into 15 5 times. And we multiply again. We say 5 times 3 equals to 15. And we subtract. 15 minus 15 will give us 0. Our sum's not complete because there's one more number underneath the shelter, number 6. So we bring down number 6 and we start the order of calculation again. How many times can 3 go into number 6? 3 can go into number 6 twice. We multiply 2 times 3. 2 times 3 equals to 6. And 6 minus 6 equals to 0. In this example, our remainder is 0, so you don't have to write it at the top. Your sum is now complete. You can double check your sum or your answer by doing a bit of calculation. We can say 252 times 3 equals to 756. And in this instance, or in this example, our remainder is zero, you add your zero, and your answer or your total equals to 756. Let's do another example. Example two. In this example, we have to know our four timetables and remember our order of calculation. We have to determine how many times four goes into 474. So let's start. Four goes into four, how many times? Correct once. Then we multiply 1 times 4 equals to 4. Then we have to subtract or minus. 4 minus 4 equals to 0. Then we start the order of calculation again. Can 4 go into 0? No, it can't because 0 is smaller than 4. Then we have a look underneath the shelter. We have the next number, number 7, we can bring it down. We say 4 goes into 7. How many times? Once. And then 1 times 4 equals to 4. And then our next step is to subtract. 7 minus 4 equals to 3. And then we start the order of calculation again. 4 needs to now go into number 3, but can it? No, because 3 is smaller than 4. Then we bring down our next number underneath the shelter, which is a 4, and now we have 34. Can 4 go into 34? Yes, it can, because 34 is bigger than 4. How many times does 4 go into 34? 8 times. And then we multiply 8 times 4, and 8 times 4 equals to 32. Then we subtract. 4 minus 2 equals to 2. And 3 minus 3 
equals to zero. Now we have to see if our sum is complete. There aren't any more numbers to bring down underneath the shelter, so our remainder for this sum is number two. We can now double check our answer as follows. We can say 118 times 4 equals to 472. Then we add our remainder of 2 and we'll bring our total to 474. Let's do example number 3. In this example, we have to know our six timetables and our order of calculation. We have to determine how many times 6 will go into the number 1678. So let's start. Can 6 go into 1? No, it can't because 1 is smaller than 6. So in this instance, you're going to just place a 0 or a dot above your 1 to show that you're done with that number. Then we look at the, we add the second digit and look if 6 can go into 16. Yes, 6 can go into 16 2 times and 2 times 6 will then give us 12. Then we subtract 6 minus 2 equals to 4 and 1 minus 1 equals to 0. Now we have to look again. Can 6 go into 4? No, it can't because 4 is smaller than 6. And then underneath our shelter, our next number is number 7. So we're going to bring it down. So can 6 now go into number 47? Yes, it can because 47 is bigger than 6. And how many times does 6 go into number 47? 7 times. And then we multiply 7 times 6. And 7 times 6 equals to 42. Our next step is to subtract. 7 minus 2 equals to 5. And 4 minus 4 equals to 0. Now we start the order of calculation again. We have to start with division. Can 6 go into number 5? No, it can't because 5 is smaller than 6. We still have one more number left under our shelter. And we bring down number 8. Now we have 58. Can 6 go into 58? Yes, it definitely can because 58 is bigger than 6. And 6 goes into 58 9 times. Then we multiply 9 times 6. And 9 times 6 is 54. So we subtract. And we say 8 minus 4 equals 4. And 5 minus 5 equals 0. In this case, we don't have any more numbers under our shelter. And we have a 4 at the bottom. So 4 will become our remainder. So now we can double check our answer again. We're going to say 279 times 6. That will give us 1674. And then we add our remainder of 4. And it will give us a total of 1678. I hope you guys had fun and that you understood. You have to just keep on practicing and it will become easier. Till next time.